Network 1 has the off-delay timer and Network 2 the off-delay timer coil. The off-delay timer starts on the trailing edge of a 1 to 0 transition. The input is true before the timer starts. When the input transitions from 1 to 0, the timer begins timing down. The input must remain false for the timer to time out. The coil is 1 or true while the timer is timing down, and the coil goes to 0 or false when the timer times out. Each time the input transitions from 1 to 0, the timer automatically restarts. It is not necessary to assign a reset or output addresses. The time format for all S7 timers is S5T pound sign, followed by the hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds, up to a max time of 2 hours, 46 minutes, and 30 seconds. The timer's name, T108, also acts as a coil and can be evaluated as a contact. You may also add an external coil like M250.5 and evaluate that bit instead of the T bit if you prefer. Let's monitor the block. Make sure network 1 is highlighted. Input 1.6 is true. We will de-energize the input until the timer times down to zero. You'll also notice that the T108 bit in network 3 follows the timer. If the timer starts timing and the input transitions to 1 and then to 0, the timer will restart. The off-delay coil in network 2 works the same way. To review, the off-delay timer starts on the trailing edge of a 1 to 0 transition. The input is true before the timer starts. When the input transitions from 1 to 0, the timer begins timing down. The input must remain false for the timer to time out. The coil is 1 while the timer is timing and zero after the timer times out. And that concludes this video.